thesmartlocal.com. I'm an idiot! Hi guys! Hi! Hi. Hello! Hello, hello! Have you ever considered studying overseas? <gasps> oh my god, yes! Yeah! I of mean... Of course! <sighs> Considered properly, no. Dreamed, yes. Yeah, same. Okay, so okay, so funny story, right? Mm. Also sad story, lah. Uh, Wonder they got issue here. <laughs> <laughs> so right, uh, okay, that's right. I actually applied to a lot of overseas U, cause 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 I cause I did law, right? Uh -huh. Cause I did law, so I wanted to go to like the UK law schools, lah. And then actually, I got into Kings. Uh -huh. but then, not enough money, lah. Oh man. In all honesty, I would say yes, eh. especially in my field when I was doing theatre, I felt like it would have been great if I could go to a different country to experience their culture. Have you taken any other countries exam papers? New South Wales too. Oh yeah 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 yeah! <laughs> yeah the, the, my shit, that's a I don't know why schools made us do that eh. It's like know. we don't is even have like enough the, tests the gifted program No, it's not. Thing. They just test you for fun. TOEFL! TOEFL! T-O-E-F-L! TOEFL! TOEFL? <laughs> they are testing your English proficiency because they don't see Singapore as a native English speaking country. I can tell you the story that like, when I went to America for a holiday once, a kid came up to me and asked me, If you are from Asia, do you speak Asian? I was like, oh, Jesus. Huh? So, in this episode of Singaporeans Try, We'll be trying the American SATs. Before we came in, the company was just called the local. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that is like general knowledge. I hope, yeah, I then hope that is. At like, least we can scrape it. Right? I hope they don't give us something that you can't have a formula that we don't remember yeah. anymore. I can do algebra. I cannot! Algebra got letters. Doesn't make oh, sense, yeah. it's maths. Maths should have numbers. Why is it letters? Oh, yeah. But But it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X, Y, Z! You think that one forms anything? No! Actually, I don't even know my alphabets, you know. Excuse me? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but finding Machu Picchu was easier than solving... Is this a new Pokemon or what? I have no idea. I think it's like Machu and Picchu come together. What chance? It was easier than solving the mystery of its place in the rich and powerful Inca Empire. The imposing architecture attested to the skill and audacity of the Incas. But who had lived in, that, in this isolated site? And for what purpose? Huh? The mystery discussed in lines 10 to 13 is the most analogous that encountered in which of the world? Their tactic is to really use as many cheap words oh, as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Basically, we make it Singaporean when we... The mystery in the first line means what? Hey, honestly, they could have simplified it like that. Why yeah. <laughs> I keep laughing at the word analogous. Oh, the no. <laughs> no, so some of them, right, is quite obviously no. I'm gonna tell you why I don't think it's D. Only because I feel like D, right, it brings in a different concept altogether. Mm. Looks of it, I think I'm more inclined towards B. B. I think C and D are out. Personally, like, C and D are out because like none of it is like mentioned at all in the text or the mm. message. For me, my logical brain tells me the answer is not A or B. Not D. Okay, 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 okay. Rewrite, rewrite. <laughs> Competitive suddenly! <laughs> B. If I don't know the question, right, I will always put B. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I only understood the question after finding out the meaning of analogous. <laughs> okay, analogous is again like the word analogy. Mm. So what they're saying is not exactly the same, but more so what is similar, like parallel, like that, parallel. The important point is that only certain pairs of bases will fit into the structure. One member of a pair must be a purine and the other a pyrimidine yeah. in order to bridge between the two chains. If a pair consisted of two purines, for example, there would not be room for it. You can't say purine without saying urine. Purine. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's 80s, you know. <laughs> Question. I'll, I'll be that fellow in the exam signing small to myself. True, true, true. Purine. Pretty lucky. Okay, question. Based on the passage, the author's statement, if a pair consists of two purines, for example, there will not be room for it, lines 29 to 30, implies that a pair of purines 
would be larger than the space between the sugar and the phosphate group. They sound like chemistry, right? Yeah, it feels like chemistry. Correct. Yeah. B, of purines would be larger than a pair consisting of a purine and a pyrimidine. Of pyrimid C, of pyrimidines would be a larger would be larger than a pair of purines and D consisting of a purine and a pyrimidine would be larger than a pair of pyrimidines. It sounds like a tongue twister. What is a purine? Sounds something very pure. <laughs> Maybe salt. Oh, what's a pyrimidine then? Um, salt and sugar. Go for it, sis. Uh, you know what? I know as much as you at this point of time. If it's two PUs, no space. There's no space. If two P wise, then there will be excess space. Excess space, correct. Right. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So okay, at least from this diagram, yeah. I think C and D you can take off. If there would not be room for it, meaning it's big, too big, right? So basically, my answer would be B, because they say like a, implies a pair of purines will be larger mm. than a pair or uh, consisting of a purine and a pyrimidine. Correct. Oh, correct. 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 That makes sense. That makes sense. Meanwhile. I don't know, my, my gut tells me A. This is the only one that mentioned about a space. Right. Now the first part, uh, part, part A, uh, sugar and phosphate, uh, is another thing, right, that is bringing a different concept altogether. But that was why you said the previous. Exactly, now I'm thinking, should it be A? <laughs> one, two, three. B. B. I got a feeling you are, you're probably correct. Ah! <laughs> yeah, okay, I knew it. Bringing a different concept altogether, I was very convinced after question one that that is the right answer. Ugh, no. Okay. The first time I visited the Art Institute of Chicago, I expected to be impressed by its famous large paintings. For example, I couldn't wait to view the painter George Suras, 10 foot wide a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte in its full size. Oh, I'm supposed to correct it. Oh, okay, I'm so bad at this. I always leave it to Grammarly. <laughs> <laughs> I would put the comma in. I would say no change there. Oh, in my head, like, there's no punctuations at all. George's so writes, comma shouldn't be a thing. Yes, yes. After the row, should have comma, and then name and item. It's Fauzi's 10 inch. <laughs> <laughs> Ruler la, what the frick? You're thinking dirty, the heck? Okay la, I'm just gonna go with B. Uh. How, I, how I see it right is that when there's a comma, mm. you can cover the name and the the line would make sense. So yeah. if I were to cover George's surats, right? For example, I couldn't wait to view painter 10 foot wide a Sunday afternoon, which doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I, I got a bad feeling for this. B. Uh, our first, first uh, difference. Different answer. Oi! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, you're right. Oh my oh. god! The State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, one of Russia's greatest art museums, has long had a productive partnership with a much-loved animal, the cat. Oh, I love cats too. Yeah. For centuries, cats have, oh my God, cats have guarded this famous museum, meeting it of mice, rats, and other rodents that could damage the art. Not to mention scared of visitors. Oh, I hate this so much! This is really copywriting 101 eh. I think because they use reading, right, I would vote for it being scaring after. But if we, okay, if we substitute not to mention with N, to damage the art and scare off visitors. Right. Because the subject is the rats. I'm you, going yeah, to see. I think, yeah, 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 you're right. Let's say if I remove, right, the remove the damage, the right art part, right? Basically, what I'm saying for centuries, kind of guarded this museum, famous museum, reading of yeah. mice, rats, and other rodents that could blank for scare of visitors. And so by saying that, I already answered the question that could scare all visitors. Mm. C. C. Oh, God bless me! I don't have to quit, I don't have to lose my job, friends! Are we getting to the math part yes. now? Oh dear God. What the mad man? If 3x minus y equals to 12, what is the value of 8 to the power of x over 2 to the power of y? Wow, it's a power oh, question eh. My teacher made us memorize the powers. Every time she comes into class, randomly pick up one person, right, and make them recite the power of twos. Wait, but why is this important in this equation? Because eight. It is actually two, two cubed. to the power of three yeah. to the power of x. I think I got the answer, because my answer is on the MCQ thing. You always have a feeling whereby you put yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. write the answer, you're confident, uh. then after you look at MCQ equation, it will my answer. Uh. That is the worst <laughs> feeling. That's really the worst feeling. I think you do a lot of working and everything. Hello? Meanwhile, the value cannot be determined. Oh, actually, that might be the answer. <laughs> How do we get real numbers from it? I don't think it's possible. There isn't... 
Alright, it's a D for me. I think it's D. Okay, yeah, well, no. I, whatever she says, I don't understand. It's okay, you don't have to. I really don't, don't eh. My failure in math is really quite serious, eh. F with calculator, okay. This is where it gets hard. Oh dear. I don't even know how to use a calculator anymore, you know. Wow, very long never hold this thing in my hands. Yeah. Really. You must understand for me, right? It's like almost 15 years ago. Eh. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, no, thank you. Ah, uh, that, thank you for watching this episode of Save Warren's Try. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Wow, the green silo is built from two right circular cones and a right circular cylinder with internal management uh, measurements represented by the figure above. Of the following, which is the closest to the volume of the grand silo in cubic feet. Next. <laughs> Ask a question, please. Bro. Oh, I remember reading the question. I see the diagrams and everything. I want to die. Okay, they got so give they, like they give the formulas. Yeah, clever, so clever. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do about, do about, do about, do about, do about, do about. Okay. Two seconds later. Where's pi? How to put over three? How to put the power of? Eh, no, no, no. Delete. Then you press this. Oh, oh you're welcome. <laughs> Calculator is supposed to make our lives easier, but it seems to make your life tougher. <laughs> it's like application of formulas, right? And they give you the formulas there, so I think this is keying into the calculator yeah. and making sure you don't key wrongly. Yeah. Oh, I, I, know, I know what this, to this topic is called, because we used to make fun of it a lot. It's called uh, mensuration. Because it sounds like menstruation. Yeah, 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 now that I remember. Someone from boys' school. <laughs> oh, 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 menstruation! <laughs> D. D. Well, I did this on my own with the exception of her help on how to use calculator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! So this was really application. Still got action. it! Still got it! <laughs> what? Yay! Finally! I fail! <laughs> Yay! We finished our SATs, John! I got one mark! What do you mean? I got finished Yay! by the SATs! So what do you think of the American SATs? Wow, it's actually much harder than I thought it would be. I think our mindset not student mindset anymore. <laughs> we, just, we just want to get things done and over with. Yeah, we are, we are uh, less cautious. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think apart from the carelessness, right, I think generally it was okay. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I think the SATs, like John mentioned, like, SAT is supposed to be uni entrance exams, right? Mm. But the questions seem to be on the secondary school curriculum right. for Singapore. Because a lot of overseas schools, a lot of overseas countries don't do A-levels. Yeah. After high school, they go straight to college. Do you think that it is more difficult than Singapore's exams? I think the math is actually doable if you know how to use the calculator and if you know your your formula. The English one, I think, is is about nuances and I think um is is challenging and challenging. Okay, I guess another difficulty, right? Yeah, Singapore one is more difficult. At the same time, Singapore's one is also more straightforward. So this one, like the catch, is also uh, the phrasing of mm -hmm. the words and they try to confuse the takers as much as yeah. possible. I would have to say for university entry, right, based on what I remember and the trauma that I tried to lock away in my head, and that is the A-levels, right? The SATs were definitely way easier. A-levels was insane! I think A-levels, if you give us an A-level question now and then you put the... You put, sorry, the calculator give us wrong one eh. They give us graphic calculator. You know what's a graphic calculator? Your calculator can draw graph eh. Have you thought about that? No, you only think about yourself. <laughs> It's okay. We are we are past that phase of our lives. Leave in the comments below if you want to see the rest of them suffer doing A level uh, examination papers. Oh, <laughs> this guy! Just oh, this guy! We'll cast you. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Singaporeans Try. If you like this video, give it a like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Bye! Bye. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm so proud to be a failure.